Hey everybody, it's Kay. Hope you're doing well. So I wanted to come on and give you just a few suggestions. If you plan on participating in, in March Mystery Madness, but you also want to keep in line with the reading blackout and only read books by black authors. I have four books that I'm going to recommend to you today. And I hope that if even if you don't read the, these books in particular, that you will check out these authors in the future. So the first book is Pipe Dream by Solomon Jones. And I just love the cover of this book. I've read this book twice. The last time I read it was about in 2010 because I have a restaurant receipt that, you know, says I at least was reading the book back then. Um, this book I thought was very good. It has very strong male lead character in it. It's very suspenseful. It is a thriller. You know how thrillers have highs and lows and peaks and valleys and twists and turns. That's kind of what this book um, has as a thriller element. And Solomon Jones himself was asked um, what genre he would put this book in. And he's, his, his response is this. I would consider this an urban thriller. It's like Scott Tarot without the courtroom with a splash of color and a generous helping of Ebonics. It's not quite Iceberg Slim or Donald Goins. It's a little more cerebral than that. The shade of it all. <laughs> but it's just as gritty, hopefully without the black exploitation element. I'm ashamed to say the black exploitation element is kind of what I like about Donald Goins. Sorry about that, but it's true. Anyway, okay, so this book, what is it about? Johnny Padres is a politician whose record against corruption has been propelling him straight to the mayor's office, but he's found murdered in a North Philly crack house. Enter Samuel Jackson, a.k.a. Black, a drug addict who knows better, a man embittered by the fact he can't seem to escape from his addiction to crack cocaine, or for that matter, for, from himself. Though he's once a family man with a wife and a son, his only concern these days is getting his next high. That is, until he stumbles across his friend and fellow crack addict, Leroy. And the bro both of them become the prime suspects in the murder of Johnny Padres. They hook up, Black and Leroy, they hook up with two female pipers. Clarice, a registered nurse who is slowly losing to crack any semblance of a respectable life. And Pookie, who's already lost it. Soon the hunt is on for all four as they try to stay one step ahead of a police department who is under tremendous pressure to solve the case because if a killer isn't found soon, this could blow up into one of the biggest scandals in Philadelphia history. That is Pipe Dream. Okay? The next book is also by Mr. Solomon Jones, and it is The Bridge. Sometimes Philadelphia police detective Ken Lynch feels he has spent his whole life trying to put his past behind him. But a frantic call for help from a childhood friend whose daughter has gone missing changes all of that. Now Lynch must summon the courage to return to his home, the infamous projects known as The Bridge. As the case unfolds and the search for Kenya, the missing girl intensifies, the secrets guarded by her family and friends begin to emerge. The hidden truths are more sinister and malevolent, malevolent, excuse me, than Lynch could ever imagine. And once again, the bridge threatens his downfall. So I, I think that cover is beautiful also. Look at that. This one is a very short read. It's 200 and what? 41 pages. That means you can finish this in a weekend or in one night if you're musical Tati because she reads really fast. I don't know how in the world she reads so fast. She and, um, what's my girl's name? Arlene from Lock Press Books. They read so fast. But, um, and, and Steph from, um, Steph's Drawn Book Talk. She reads fast too. But anyway, Gather Together in My Name by Tracy Price Thompson. This is a very suspenseful book. 
um, Coming of Age in the Heart of Crime Root in Brooklyn. Shine Blackwood is one in a set of triplets born into poverty and great tragedy. While his brothers are raised to seek a life of promise, Shine's path veers early on. A street hustler, he becomes known as a liar, a thief, and eventually a killer. Personifying many of the negative stereotypes attributed to black men, Shine is accused and convicted of the brutal murder of a young child. The entire city loses it, and they demand vengeance. He's sent to death row uh, in a cold New York state prison. On the eve of his execution, five people traveled to the prison to visit him. As the clock counts down to midnight, and while everyone has long since abandoned Shine and his fate, a secret at the heart of this unthinkable crime remains to be discovered. It is a secret that will test the bonds of family, the strength of one's character, and the redemptive power of a love worth dying for. I enjoyed this book. Lots of twists and turns, even to the end. Check this one out. And finally, we have this one. It is Anybody's Daughter by Pamela Samuels Young. Pamela, I think, is most known for her legal thrillers, and this is not quite that. So, 13-year-old Brianna is ecstatic because she's finally going to meet her boyfriend, a boyfriend that she met on Facebook. However, she is horrifyingly surprised when her boyfriend, she finds out her boyfriend doesn't exist. She's been, is horrifyingly a word, she's been catfished, and <laughs> Instead, she is hurled into the shocking underworld of sex trafficking. Now, Brianna's Uncle Dre, with his own criminal past, he's not going to just sit by and let the police look for his niece. He's going to find her himself. With the help of Angela Evans, a woman who works with girls who have been exploited, um, he sets out to... Um, bring Brianna home, but the path he chooses to take could end up harm, harming her and himself. Again, that is anybody's daughter, Pamela Samuels Young. And some of her other books, legal thrillers would be, I think, Every Reasonable Doubt, Infirm Pursuit, Murder on the Down Low, Attorney Client Privilege, and Buying Time. Okay. I love that cover. Gorgeous. So my book club, we read both of these and we really did like both of those books. I hope this has been helpful. Check out Belinda's book nook. She had some, um, she has some suggestions on her channel as well. And always Troy Tao has some good ones on his. So Stay tuned for more videos. Hashtag everything March Mystery Madness. And I'll see you next time, okay? Bye-bye.